Meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Well, we're looking down to the hotel in Edinburgh on our Sam Catania painting camera, and you can just see the wetness, and you can see the piles of snow on the sidewalk. They're uh, taking a little hit from the above freezing temperatures and the rainfall. So wet roads across our area tonight. That's good stuff because what we've been getting is this clingy kind of snow that Darren shows us at Wintergreen Borge. And after midnight, we're going back to that stuff. So green means rain, and that's all we got right now this evening. But if you look to the north and west, uh, blue means snow. So we're going to get that back into the weather picture. And we were talking about the advisory, winter weather advisories for everyone. It doesn't start till 1 a.m., but it lasts till 10 a.m. on Friday. So we're going to go through it late tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, and into Friday morning. Temperatures flatlining with the frozen precip early, going to rain here and staying up for now. Thought we'd take a look at road temperatures, and as you go through the night and into tomorrow, they start to drop. So again, with the air temperatures, you're going to see some colder air, and tomorrow morning's rush hour could be on the slippery side, but not a lot, not a lot of snow by then. We've been up as high as 38. We've been down as low as 28. Officially at Erie Airport, six tenths of an inch of snow. We've got about one to three this morning across the area, but we're still way below normal for the season, almost 26 inches below normal. So again, just showers this evening and before the snow changes, and then the lake effect for tomorrow, tomorrow night into Friday. Uh, 39 at the Pier, 37 in Fairview, 34 French Creek, and 35 in Union City. So all the temperatures are staying above freezing from Rose and Espyville at 40 to John and Titusville at 36, Warren at 36, and Cooperstown the same number. So we got a few hours here while we're on the warm side of the storm before the cold air wraps around and you can see it uh, evidenced here and that's what will change the precipitation from the liquid to frozen form. So basically we've gone through the snow, we've gone through the sleet, we're in the rain and what's left is going back to snow with the lake effect accumulation. So this is what we're thinking total once it changes and you go into Friday morning a general four to eight in the blue three to five Meadville and Titusville, two to four in the Warren area. So let's check out your forecast. First of all, for tonight along the lakeshore, lows near 30, rain to snow after midnight, fresh coating, inch maybe two by morning. So watch out for the slippery morning rush even south in southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, and Venango counties. It's less than an inch expected, but the temperatures will drop just below freezing by the time you wake up. So the moisture can freeze on the surfaces. Rain to snow late for Chautauqua, Warren Forest, and McKean in the mountains. Trace to two inches there. Lows in the upper 20s. So for tomorrow, temperatures right around 30, two to four inches in northern areas, one to three inches, Meadville over to Warren. And then we add another two to four across the board tomorrow night, get a little colder. And what I put on there is light hits for Friday and Saturday. That means there's not going to be a lot of snow. Sunday, we could get rain or snow showers. Monday, again, not a big deal. And then by Wednesday, the 1st of January, rain goes to snow. And oddly enough, the 2nd of February, I should say, which is not on there, Thursday, it's going to get a lot colder for our friend down in Punxsutawney. Your friend. Uh-huh. All that and more on the Your Erie to Go app. Sean and Oh, Jen. I know everybody knows how much you love the rodent. <laughs> Weather rodent.